Hey everybody, video here for you today, and I never know what provokes me into making a video, but I've been hanging around with my brother today and just kind of goofing around. But earlier today, I watched this video from uh, Matt at Ancient Architects, and he talks about Kinkawe's tomb out here on the Giza Plateau, and this is an important structure, and Matt has a good eye here, and I just thought this was interesting. I remembered a video I made during my Egypt Pyramid series here where I showed this structure here and I showed a lost causeway and it comes down to a pit down here and I really didn't know what was going on in this video when I made this video but in research I've done after I made this video there was a lost harbor down here and I think there is a story on what this original structure is and I left a comment on Matt's video and maybe I'll make a video specifically on that I know I mentioned it in a few videos and this is Live Science from 2014, and they uncovered an ancient harbor down here, and this is what it looks like. So that pit that I was wondering about in that original video, this is what is underneath here in ancient harbor. But here is King Kawe's tomb, obviously a repurposed tomb around the uh, end of the Old Kingdom. And then there was a causeway coming down here, and this is what is underneath here in ancient harbor, but this is covered up today maybe for obvious reasons. But here you see the mastabas and nobody built over this original causeway because this was probably considered a sacred structure, but Kinkawes and her family, whoever that was, had the guts enough to build a tomb on top and call it her own. But when watching Matt's good video here, my curiosity got up and I kind of reviewed when I went over in this one. And as soon as I saw a paper that I used, I knew I had forgotten something and I needed to go back and look at this paper, and I never did. But this is it here. This is a study that was done in 2008. HAL is a multidisciplinary open access archive for the deposit and dissemination of scientific research documents, whether they are published or not. The documents may come from teaching and research institution in France or abroad, or from public or private research centers. I might make a video on King Kawe's tomb at a later date, but I want to talk about the pyramids here at Giza, the big two, and maybe we have to rethink what we know about them. But they go over the geology in this paper and what age of the rock this is all cut into, and I found it fascinating. But this is what I want to talk about right here. Now, maybe some of you have heard Robert Schock talk on the Joe Rogan experience about where he theorizes some part of the original mound at Giza is under the big two pyramids and I don't know what part of that video but I know he states that in that video well in this paper they say at the northwest side of the middle pyramid here at Giza Kefron's pyramid the first six steps are not stone blocks but here they say this white line designates part of the original plateau at Giza and then these were cut in steps. And they list several reasons below, including vertical continuity of the steps without visible delineation of the blocks. And there is solid evidence here. So I think this is something that has to be looked at seriously. And I will leave the link for this paper below. But I found it to be highly fascinating and highly convincing. But they uh, talk about cracks in the rock and the formation of the rock. This is not stone blocks down here. These are leveled steps of the original Giza Plateau. So I thought I'd check it out on Google Earth. Well, let's go down to the middle pyramid and take a peek at this original structure. And we're going to take a look at the southwest corner, but it's stated in that paper that it's the same on the north and southwest sides. This is the southwest corner of the middle pyramid at Giza. Kefron's Pyramid, but here let's take a look at these blocks here, and it doesn't go up six layers here on this side as it did on the northwest side that I showed in that diagram, but if you look at these blocks here, these aren't blocks, this is part of the original Giza Plateau, and if you look around here, there is no seam, these are not blocks. Has anybody brought this forward yet? I have not looked for any other YouTube videos that say these are not blocks, but to me it's clear they are not. Let's keep on going here. Do you see a seam here? Do you see any seams here? 
to indicate that these are blocks. These are steps cut in the original rock plateau. No seam, no seams. I don't see any seams anywhere. There is this right here. That is not a seam for a block. So obviously, if you go along here, these are not blocks this long. I don't see any seams in the first three levels of, of the southwest corner of the middle pyramid of Giza here. This is not a stone block base. This is actually part of the original Giza plateau cut into levels that form the base of the middle pyramid. That's the way it appears to me. I invite you people to look on Google Street View here and make up your own mind and I think you will come to the same conclusion that I just have. But doesn't that make the pyramid even more stable than we already thought? Now here is the west face of the Kefron Pyramid and this is where they just cut down and quarried out the blocks for the Great Pyramid just like they did around the Sphinx. And you notice here the stratification plane it goes kind of in an upward pattern on the left. Well, over here on the pyramid, it goes in an upward pattern, and you can see it down here in the bottom right. And once again, I will leave this below. Now, there is some marks here, but they don't go all the way down, and they don't explain these in any way, shape, or form being actual blocks. You can see it here, but you can see here, this is all one long cut stepped base platform here. Now, I talked about this during my Egypt Pyramid series, but here's a topographical map. And it seemed to me the way they built pyramids is they used the base of original mounds. And other people have talked about that. That is nothing new. But I don't know if I've ever heard people say that the bottoms are not blocks. They're actual part of the actual plateau. So if anybody can find a video, please leave it. Or a website that goes over that. But here you can see the topographical map and how... The five original structures at Giza, what we call the Sphinx today, the Great Pyramid, the Middle Pyramid, and the Small Pyramid here, these were all cut into points or outcroppings in the natural formation here. And this is Kinkawi's tomb cut out of a natural point or outcropping down here. And here they took a topographical map and theorized how much of the original mound is in each of the pyramids here. The big ones, at least, they don't theorize there is much of a mound in the small pyramid here. But this is what they deduce. And based on that topographical study, this is how much of the original mound at Giza they theorize is still inside or make up the base of the original big two pyramids here. And let me just read. Now, this is basically how they concluded it. Apart from the Sphinx, in the previously described Abu Rawash pyramid, this study shows the existence of an original hill of large volume under the monument of Queen Kinkawes and under the two great pyramids. The volume of this original hill is about 64% of the total volume of the monument for the Mastaba of Kinkawes, 11.5% for the pyramid of Kefron, and about 23% for the pyramid of Cheops, or the Great Pyramid. It says these results are deduced from direct observation and should be regarded as minimum values. For the Great Pyramids, we propose a module postulating larger volumes and heights of approximately 20 meters. Real volumes could be specified only by adequate geophysical study. So I find that absolutely fascinating. Here is a look at the southwest side, and I don't find any seams in the bottom three layer. He says they go up six steps on the northwest side. Looks to me that the bases of the pyramids, and he says there's just a tiny bit of the Great Pyramid, that the base is the same way. But they do show this on the Great Pyramid here. This is the northeast corner. It says observations at Cheops based on the same criteria as Kefron show that the rocky basement is not very visible in the lower parts of the pyramid. It is, however, possible to establish the presence of an original rocky hill as described below. And here you see how different it is, the rocks here, and then the base in the Great Pyramid down in the northeast corner. Now, when I first read that about a year ago, I thought, hmm, that's a slight possibility. But I'm glad I watched Matt's video, because that sparked my memory. 
and I remembered that paper and I looked into it. A lot of times my videos are about possibilities. Well, I think this is a little more than a possibility just based on the clear evidence here. But I don't know. I'll let you people check it out for yourselves. I think this is a fascinating story. And if 11.5 or whatever and 23% of the original volume of the pyramids, the big two pyramids, are made up of part of the original plateau, I think we have to re-estimate how many stone blocks make up these pyramids. Now that is just something to think about. That's a look at the Giza pyramids in a whole new way. Hope you thought that was cool. And you all have a very nice day.